Hi, my name is Janelle, and you may already know that, but if you don't, then I'm, I feel so sorry for you. Or I feel sorry for you that you know me. I don't know. I can never figure out if I should just like start in on the subject that I'm making this video about. Should you or should you not get your alternative medicine degree? That is the question. First of all, to give you just a little bit of background about me, I got my alternative medicine degree in 2016. It took me about three and a half years, so I was actually able to get it quicker than most degrees, which are usually four years, and that was really nice. I got my degree online from Everglades University, and that allowed me the ability to be able to work at the same time as I was taking those classes. I'm going to give you some idea of what I have all of this information in my head and getting it out there is not happening for me. I'm going to try again. Should you or should you not get your alternative medicine degree? If you're looking at the program from Everglades University, I can give you a lot of advice because that's the exact program that I took, obviously. I'm going to break it down into categories. No, that's not the right thing. What led me to get my alternative medicine degree? When I was initially getting into this field of work, after I got my nutrition certification, I wanted to get my naturopathic doctorate. That was my dream. I contacted Vassar University and I asked them if they had any recommendations for a degree program online that would be a good way of getting me extra prepared for going into the naturopathic doctorate field. And they did recommend Everglades University in their alternative medicine program online and said that is one of the few online degrees that are actually in the holistic field that's accredited. So that's what I decided to do. I could take each class one at a time. They were a month long. I didn't have to focus on more than one subject at a time. I had already been used to doing online classes because I was getting my certificate of nutrition online before that. So I was pretty used to being self-disciplined like you have to be when you take online classes. I was used to having to be organized. I was used to working alone as opposed to being next to other people in a classroom. The setup at Everglades University was basically a four-week setup where you had to do discussion topics on a message board and that was for each week and then you also had to read a textbook of some sort. You had to get that textbook. It wasn't provided online. Most of the content was tests to see if you learned from the materials that you were supposed to be studying during the week. There were some classes where you had to write essays, which I really enjoy because I like writing. It's really important to consider the fact that once you get your alternative medicine degree, there is not a lot of jobs that are looking for that particular credential. A lot of companies that are going to be paying $75,000 a year or more are going to require you to have your RN or to have your RD or your doctorate. That is why if you are at the point of needing to get a degree and you haven't pursued that yet, I want to recommend to you to look into getting your RN to become a nurse. If you want to have other options for getting jobs that pay well, until maybe you can go on to pursue further education or if you aren't able to find work in the holistic health field because it is a very 
even though the field of holistic health and nutrition is certainly expanding exponentially as we speak, there are still very limited jobs in the field. And the jobs that are available are looking for people that have either their nursing degree or have gotten their registered dietetic certification or have something of that sort that is recognized by the government. For instance, when I look up jobs as a nutritionist, most of them are going to require me to have my registered dietetics certification because I live in California and that is what they're going to want in order for you to give legitimate nutrition advice to people. Now, does that mean that you can't go and be a freelancer or be a health coach that basically gives people advice and then they can take that information and do with it what they want? Absolutely. But you really have to make sure you're following those guidelines and realize that you can get into some trouble if you don't abide by those guidelines properly. What's really nice is when you have your registered dietetic certification, you have so many more options both to either create your own business, do freelancing, or find a good job that is helping people that are either currently sick or want to do preventative medicine. I can tell you right now I am in a position where I have my degree in alternative medicine and going out and finding a job with that credential has been incredibly difficult. If I could go back in time, I would either get my nursing degree or get my registered dietetics degree because that would have opened up many more doors for me at this point in my life because I'm not ready to go on to get my doctorate and I'm not ready to go on to get my master's. I'm not in a position where I can do so. So it's really difficult for me to find jobs that will accept the certificate of nutrition that I have or the degree in alternative medicine that I have as something legitimate. I want you to be able to get this information before you actually jump in to an alternative medicine degree so that you know that you're going to be paying almost the same amount for a whole different degree but you will be able to get a lot more out of it. To me that's almost a no-brainer. Of course everybody's situation is different and I know that there are certain reasons people want to get alternative medicine degrees like myself where you are not able to take a lot of these classes in person because getting an RN or an RD does require a lot of in-person work. But it all comes down to we live in a world now where we need to be able to make a living, be able to make a living wage that isn't $11 an hour. If you're going to invest your money into a degree, and it is an investment, you want to get the most out of that investment. And that's why I'm going to recommend to you to look into these other options before you decide to get your alternative medicine degree. My conclusion of whether you should get your alternative medicine degree, do lots and lots of research and figure out what you are capable of doing right now and what you want to do in the future, what jobs you hope to get, what wages you hope to make, and in what time frame, and then figure out what would be your best option. I'm always here to help you out if you need some advice. And I'm also going to be making more videos on these things. I've made previous videos about getting your certificate of nutrition. So check that out and what I think about that. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel. I would love to get to know you by reading your comments and feel free to email me, check out my blog. 